Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Power Automate to create a new Excel file and add a table to that file. And in this example here in front of you, I have a flow that gets expiring subscription records from Salesforce, and then it creates a new file, and then it adds those records to that file. And we're just going to focus on how do these actions here work to create a new file. And in this example, we are triggering this flow manually, but of course you can trigger, you can put in an automated trigger of any kind and then run these steps right after the trigger runs. Um, but for the sake of our example today, we're just going to be focusing on the actions that create the file. So the first step is to actually create a file in SharePoint. So we're going to hop over to SharePoint and create a file inside of a folder. So I've just created a new folder inside of SharePoint. And I'm going to now add a Excel workbook here. And we're not going to name this workbook. We're just gonna leave it as the default name of book. So now that we have this here, we're gonna go back to Power Automate. And we're going to create an instant cloud flow, manually trigger a flow and create. First action that we need is a get file content action. And that's a SharePoint connector. And this is an action that's not going to remain in our flow, but we need it in order to get further down the road on our flow. So now here is where we will add in our site address and then we will select our file. So this is the file that we just created inside of this folder. Now that we've done that, we're going to test the flow. So we'll save. And we'll test. Now we're going to go and open, now that our flow ran successfully, we're going to open this and we're going to look at the outputs here. And what we're looking at is the outputs in the body. And what we want to do is we want to copy this, just the copy button here. And then we're going to go back and we're going to edit this flow. And we're going to add a new action here. It's going to be a compose action. We're going to paste in what we just copied from our get file content output. And you can see it's a huge string of characters and numbers. Now that we've done that, I'm going to rename this to compose new Excel SX file. And then we can add a new action, which is going to be a create file action. And that's again, a SharePoint connector. And we choose our site address and our folder path. And then the name of our file can be whatever you want it to be. In my example, I was populating the file with expired training subscription records. So I'll just go ahead and name it expired training sub records and then I'm going to go underscore and I'm going to put in a date stamp and the reason that I want this date stamp and that's just UTC now so we'll go ahead and select that and then we'll add is because every time I run this flow is daily and I want to I want it to make sure that it's not um, using the same file name every time it's created so this will give it a unique file name every time and then remember to add on your file type at the end here, .xlsx, and then the file content is going to be the outputs of our compose action. We'll select outputs. So now that we've done these two steps, and we'll just quickly rename this again. We're gonna call this new 
xlsx file. We can go ahead and delete our get file content action. And now we have these two steps. I'm going to run this and we'll see how that works. So let's save. Test. And then we'll hop over to SharePoint. And I'm just going to refresh on this page where our folder is. And there you can see that our folder, or excuse me, our file has been created. And it's got the UTC now timestamp on it. So this will create a unique file every single time. We won't have any duplicates. Now, the last thing that you may want to do is add a table to that file that you just created. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to edit and then add an action. And the action is create table. And this is an Excel online for business. So this is the one that we want. And we put in our location of our folder and document library. We're not going to choose the file from here because this is dynamic. Right, so what we need to do is select dynamic content. The file dynamic content is the body ID, the unique ID of the file or folder. And now our table range, this is where we can essentially create um, a table. Um, and so depending on what you're putting into your table, you will add the table range like A1. And then for our example, I'll just add like three columns, so A1 through C1. And then down here is where you can click show all for advanced parameters. And then you'll have to enter in the table name. And so the name of our table um, as it's created is just going to be table one. We're not gonna give it any um, fancy name. And then the column names, this is where we add our, in the column names of our three columns. So, um, so I'm just gonna put like, for my example, a record ID, and then we're separating these by commas and no spaces. Record ID, accounts, and then the last thing we'll just put on here is currency. So that's gonna do it for our table. And so we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And we'll run one more test and see how our table gets created. I'll hop over to SharePoint once we get a confirmation that this action has run successfully. And I'll go over here and I'll refresh. Didn't even have to refresh, it's already there. And you can see in the timestamp because the UTC now returns the date, uh, the, the month, day, year, and the minutes and seconds. So now we can click on this. So even if you're running the flow the same day, you're always gonna get the unique file. And we open this up and there is our table and there are our table headers for our three columns that we added. So now you can finish out your flow by putting in a automated trigger and populating your table with some dynamic content from your trigger, something like that. I hope that you found this video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.